extra minutes. Let's talk about border security. Now, sure. Tony Abbott says, we'll turn back the boats. Now, it's a catchy slogan, mm. but is that all it is? Can you really turn back the boats? Well, we'll find out when we get a government uh, under Tony Abbott that will try and do that. Well, you were such a government. Did you ever order a boat to be turned around? Oh, yes, we did in 2001. Some boats were towed back uh, to the uh, edge of the territorial waters of Indonesia and they sailed in and they were taken by the Indonesian. Look, the undeniable fact is we stopped the boats coming in 2001. We went from having you know, two or 3,000 people arrive or some thousands arrive in 2001 to a total of two people arriving in 2002. We stopped the boats and the Rudd government, and Mr Rudd in particular, unwound a, a completely successful policy and has now given us chaos. It's a hard thing as a Prime Minister to order an Australian naval officer mm. to step onto a boat which is full of human beings, mm. men, women and children who come from greatly distressed places, and you know because mm. you've been to these places, and to tell them we're turning around and sending Yes, that is out. hard. That's hard for, mm. for a serving officer. Look, look, uh, I, I, the people who order that are back in Canberra. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, I accept all that. But that, that is always the case when, when governments ask uh, their military personnel to do difficult, mm. dangerous, uh, sometimes life-taking things. I, I understand that very clearly. Sometimes inhumane things. Uh, yes. I don't think our people ever behaved inhumanely. I'm sure they didn't. I never saw any evidence that they behaved inhumanely. They behaved very carefully and very bravely. But it, you say it's a hard thing to do that. Mm. It's also a hard thing to say to somebody who's been waiting 10 years or something in a refugee sure, camp sure. and who's been told they're a legitimate refugee Gee, but there's no place in Australia for you because that place has been taken by somebody who jumped the queue. Well, the Labor Party's pretty much come round to your Pacific solution mm. again, haven't mm. they? So why isn't it working now? Well, because once you let the genie out of the bottle, to use that old expression, it's extremely hard to put it back, particularly uh, when uh, all of the things that kept it in the bottle in the first place have not been embraced by the current government. They haven't embraced temporary protection visas. So it'll they, be harder for Tony too. It, 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 it will be hard, of course, because we, have, we will have had several years of, of, of porous borders. Of course it will be hard, but uh, he will have the will to try and he will have, in the eyes of the Indonesians, in particular, the track record of belonging to a government that successfully protected our borders, namely my government. Do you think the uh, people smugglers and indeed their customers think that turn back the boats is now all bluff and bluster? No, I don't think they are. I don't think they do. I, 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 don't, I don't accept that. No, I don't. Of course, the marvellous thing to do would be uh, to sort out the situations in these most unfortunate countries so people didn't feel they had to leave. Well, of course, uh, but that is like saying the, you know, the, the, the answer to, to uh, the health bill is uh, uh, to make sure that people never embrace bad habits like right, or smoking or over-drinking. Or to starvation or over that everyone and, gets yeah, fed, yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so these people will always be with us. Climate change might even make it worse. Look, I, I think there will always be a refugee problem around the world and every country has got to play a part, but we rate very well in the size of our humanitarian refugee program. And the critical thing, Charles, is to maintain public support for orthodox immigration and a humanitarian refugee program. And the way to do that is to, is to assure the Australian people that a government is serious about uh, making sure that the people who do come to this country make a contribution to Australia and they're also uh, chosen according to a proper criteria of refugee entitlement. Now, we used to have that, and when we had it a few years ago, public support for immigration rose very significantly. Now we don't have it, and public support for immigration is declining, and that's a bad thing.